So Harriers will be defending the goal away to our left in this first half, kicking down a, a slope, which sort of angles from yeah. to bottom or to say top left corner down to bottom right corner and also uh, down hill as well. Sort of a few undulations, shall we say here? Yeah, it's coming from over our the, There's a little bit of a breeze, not much well, of one, it must be said. Come on, you Come on, Young flag bearers have uh, made their way up as well into the main stand here. Harry is them. Uh, will take the kick off that Ed Williams is perched over. Referee just checking with the two goalkeepers. And we're imminently away here on BBC Hereford and Worcester as Dylan Butterfield has to launch that ball down to the far side of the field. Harry has conceded yeah. the throw in immediately. Ryan Johnson. Chambers just placing the ball down and the uh, free kick will be taken by Paul White who's stepping up a good uh, 20 yards out of his area thought about firing that upfield straight away not to be there Daniel NT with his arm raised going to try and get on the end of this one he's been shepherded by Cliff Moyo good flick from uh, NT there's an opportunity as it drops 20 yards from the Harriers goal but it's Harriers pick up and then clear their lines. Pellicott chases to this near side. But it's uh, out to Brighton. Brighton linking on this near side. Butterfield getting in front of his marker, but none. But uh, good work there from Carter. Played into the middle for Michael, trying to get it out to that far side, but too far this time for Gary Storer. And Harriers will have a throw in. Defensive throw around about 18 yards from their own goal line. Full programme in National League North today. Telford playing Leamington. Elfords and Southport Blythe Geisley. Boston against Altrincham. Boston will be hoping to keep 11 men on the pitch for the first time this season at York Street. As, uh, the ball's played up and cleared again comfortably out to this near side. James Brighton trying to start the ball rolling. Good. Uh, Probing run there, good challenge. Oh. Turn there by Carter. Joel Carter wins the free kick and it's taken quickly. Story chasing up, ball into the centre. And Moyo clears it away from Daniel MT. Catherine starting quite brightly here at Latimer Park. As in T on the ball, gets it back to Brighton. Chance for a run through the middle, but uh, Chambers has followed. And T again tries an effort, flicked up off the uh, heel of Moyo, helped on by Williams. Picked up again by Storage, stepping forward. Into the centre, Moyo almost uh, turning it over his own goalkeeper, but uh, Gregory was equal to it there. And Harriers will clear their lines again into the fourth minute I think there's been an early goal at Telford confirmation of it Telford lead Levington by a goal to nil only the second minute there is Pennicott heads the ball down far side picked up again Storer running through checks feeds it back in this time Kennedy angled crossfield ball and uh, that's brilliantly brought round by Marcus Kelly Kelly, the former Rushton and Diamonds trainee. And, uh, well, players getting caught there in possession. Scars caught, but uh, still a throw in to Kettering. Scars with the ball, the captain, looking to knock it all the way back to his goalkeeper, Paul White. White with a instep pass upfield, and Harry is battling away in midfield again to try and win it. The flick header to far side Storer just infield again looking for an angled ball through the middle towards uh, Kelly but Moyo is there and he hammers the ball high to the halfway line that is not really in control of the ball at the moment as Michael looks to space on that right hand side picked out though this time by Ryan Johnson Chambers will chase 
Williams will pick up, but he's been robbed there as the ball dropped. Connor Kennedy again, working hard. Into Milnes, and then swept cross field to the left hand side to Brighton. Carter. Back to the far side, headed down there by Storer, who keeps it in play. Over the halfway line into Harrier's territory. Going for the return, but uh, Ryan Johnson will get there first. And the ball's brought there by Michael again. Harry's playing chase ball as Sora stays upfield. Lovely ball into the centre. Oh. Could open up here. No offside. Yeah. It's a block. There he goes. And see shot was blocked by Gregory, but uh, offside as he raced onto that through ball. That's where we went wrong when we didn't score four. Five minutes played and still catering very much in the ascendancy. And T with the effort, but he was offside. Panicket. Well up, keep going. Right in. Right. Winning the uh, ball there. Harry has won it back through Prosser. Releases Austin. Austin infield to Williams, who tries to help it on. Panicket still with space. Good run there from Panicket. Halted eventually, but Harry has got the free kick for the infringement by Carter. Williams it is with Moyo. The ball down. 20 yards into the Catherine half of the field. This is the BBC Hereford and Worcester on 104, 104.6 FM and online, the BBC Sport website. Six minutes played here. Harry is with a free kick. It's still Kettering nil. Kidderminster Harry is nil. It's Williams to take this free kick. Williams lifting the ball towards the far post. It's headed away though by the Kettering that way. And T playing it out to Kelly on the left side. Kelly has to check though as Harrier's defence stop, but it's in T. Back to Brighton. And T again, turning, looking for space. Mill just knocking it back this time. And they knock it all the way back to the goalkeeper. White and play will resume with a, a long clearance from the keeper. Harrier's pick up on that far side though by. Far touch line. Harry is still looking to, to try and win the win the ball. And to throw him far side. Michael losing out. It's a Johnson looking to take this uh, near the well, probably about four or five yards in from the touch line. Still in Harrier's territory. Butterfield goes forward, but uh, Prosser makes a run back, loses his marker, looks for the ball out to Austin on this near side. Back again to Prosser, finds Moyer. Home side trying to take them away here. Ball in with Moyo down the line, Austin's going to have to chase. Brighton's there, it's going to run all the way through. Goalkeeper's trying to watch it away. Austin almost kept that in play there. The goalkeeper, Paul White. Almost too confident there, the keeper. To nudge Austin as he ran down that uh, near side. The free kick, uh, sorry, goal kick that... Uh, Paul White will take for the home side. Driven long. Johnson battling. Rock Williams with the headed clearance on the halfway line. Frosser trying to flick it on, but Kettering stand firm. And T with the back header. Reese Williams racing across. Plays it into Moyo. Moyo's under a bit of pressure from Kelly. Reese Williams it is with the Side footed ball upfield. But finds Chambers headed down to Williams. Williams trying to send Panicket away. Panicket sprinting. And uh, well, Paul White's just lofted that ball onto the car park behind us. Still awaiting the first goal here at uh, Latimer Park. Kettering nil, Harriers nil. 
few games kicking off late, I think, in uh, National League North. Blythe Geisley yet to kick off, so to Darlington and Bradford and York against Gateshead. So you take it up in the northeast, it's perhaps a little bit more problems. Slice there from Moyo. Pushing the back on NT. Austin gets there first. Headed down there by Corey Davidson. And Reese Williams plays it, but uh, finds the ball blocked. Austin flicking it beyond Brighton. Pennicat doing well to hold off the challenge. Finds Austin. Butterfield. Into Johnson. Out to the far side to Davidson. Johnson. Out wide to the far side. Harry's trying to find a way in. Williams. Couldn't quite get the ball down there. Now there's a break and Kelly sprinting over the halfway line. Flicking the ball into the path of NT. Moyo trying to get back of him. Daniel NT on this left-hand side of the field for the Poppies. Gets it back into the centre of the park. Shot blocked and then taken again. And it was Kelly's effort. But uh, was saved by Gregory. Carriers caught there on the back foot on the chase. 11 minutes in. Throw in taken by Brighton. Ball swept across field. Storer had to race in there and beat Corey Davidson to it, but now he's left the gap and uh, Kettering are exposed a little. Players having to cover and come across. Kennedy's come across. Ball's in behind the. Uh, Catherine back line, but uh, Williams wins it. Finds Butterfield to be out to Austin on this right hand side. Harriers will build again. Ball into the area, headed away. And Harriers are going to win this one on the halfway line. Shaky start from Harriers then here at uh, Latimer Park. Catherine uh, urging themselves forward. Marcus Kelly being a thorn down the left hand side. Daniel NT, a former Harrier, uh, making uh, the back line work hard but Harriers have slowly come to uh, grips with the conditions and the, the state of play and are slowly but surely dragging themselves into the game. They've got to be mindful though Kettering very quick on the break. We've had 12 minutes of the game so far. It remains uh, Kettering nil, Kettering to Harriers nil. Brighton on the ball. Coming forward again little ball in. Kennedy and Brighton combining Well, they've lost out though this time. Austin with the, the win Balls drop through the centre. Well in, well Kennedy doing well. Finds Brighton on this uh, left touch line. Tries to win it again. Well, two going? players going in for it there. Austin stands his ground. Helped in field by Prosser towards Butterfield. Butterfield helping it on towards Corey Davidson. And Davidson can stay, take the ball forward. Up against the fullback story. He's trying to hold his ground. Corey Davidson tries to come inside him. Ball back and the goalkeeper just getting there ahead of Chambers. Butterfield again. Space for Austin on this right-hand side, but they keep going left. And uh, all of a sudden the ball's broken down again, and it's Lyndon Michael who gets it up to end to centre-forward, Daniel NT. Laid out to the left-hand side, and James Brighton can go forward to the halfway line again. Step over. The ball runs all the way through to Gregory. Ben Milne's a little unfortunate there. And Harriers get the ball back. Poor ball, though, from Johnson. Picked up by Milne on the centre circle. Marcus Kelly and James Brighton working. Milne again offers himself. Harriers. Well Still taken. trying to battle on. Right, number 10. Harriers. Watching as Prosser gets a foot in, splits the two defenders. Oh, and he's had to play it back, and White gives him a call, and it's a big call because uh, Pennicott was chasing in behind there. Still Kettering nil, Kidderminster Harry is nil here on BBC Herbert and Worcester 104, 104.6 FM, and online on the BBC website. There's a long clearance from Paul White down to the left air edge of the area Harry is holding it well but all out of play Williams conceding the throw in Gary Storer takes and it's 
swept across field, but not the best ball, it must be said. Splits Kelly and Brighton. Harry is happy to stand on it and just play it back, play it out from the back as Reese Williams knocks it wide to the left hand side to Johnson. Still only one goal in the National League North at that Talford. Talford won <coughs> Leamington nil. As uh, Harry has continued to press forward. In fact, we've just had a second goal of the afternoon. Brackley have gone 1 0 up against Gloucester, I think, in the uh, game down in. Well, the other end of Northamptonshire, I suppose, really. Harry has have a chance to break on again. Chambers turning on the edge of the area. Out to Davidson, left-hand side. Cross comes in. Pennicott with the touch. And it's uh, Brighton who just gets his foot on it and then sends it away. And it's a break now for Ketrin. Kelly trying to get it through. And T flicks the ball off the foot of Reese Williams. It's away for a throw-in to the home side. Brighton back again this time. To Scars, Scars crossfield to Stora. Stora infield to Mill. Good build up play again. This Michael involved as well. Stora infield. Finds Kennedy. Mill again. Ball breaks. Brighton left hand side. Steps in field. And T flicking it out wide to Kelly. Kelly's cross blocked by Moyo. And the ball's away for. A throw in. Games have just started at Darlington, who take on Bradford Park Avenue and York, who are playing Gateshead. Just uh, some 15 minutes behind in uh, those games. It's uh, a ball down. Harry is again having to defend. Corey Davidson's there to hook the ball clear to the far side. It'll be a throw in to the home team midway inside the Harriers half of the field. We've had no goals thus far. Opening 16 minutes, still nil nil. Absolute seem to have found their scoring touch in the National League. They're two up at Boreham Wood. Side struggling at the bottom of the table. Corey Davidson dispossessed, trying to get back. And uh, Johnson with the clearance to that far side. Throw in for the poppies in their red and black striped shirts as they attack the goal away to our left hand side ball in the centre of the Harriers uh, field what's out to the far side trying to run it for a corner they've successfully done so as it's come off Williams corner to be taken by Marcus Kelly 17 minutes in Kelly placing the ball down. Looking to deliver left footed. Plenty of bodies in the area. Kelly with the ball in. It's uh, here's over. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a goal for the centre half, Sam Cartwright. <laughs> Diving in at the far post upon his side ahead, 18 minutes in. And Sam Cartwright gets the goal. And it's 1-0 to the home side. A diving header from Marcus Kelly's corner. And Harriers have got to start all over again. Ball deep and they didn't defend it. Cartwright got the run to the far post. And Harriers trail by a goal to nil. Come on, keep getting forward. Let's get a second. Harriers. We can't defend, so let's score. Well, Look to take the centre when the uh, Kettering players get back to their side of the field. Harriers then will get it underway. Milan Butterfield. Hennicott with the header in. It's missed there. The keeper comes out just ahead of Chambers. All wide it is. The home goalkeeper launches it. Fair amount of backspin as Corey Davidson heads the ball up in the air. And Harriers are behind here. It's a ball in. Again, Harriers have got to defend. They've got to find a, a response to it as Johnson's caught out of position and T getting in behind him. 
Then Lente gets the better of Johnson and goes to Graham. And then tries to flick it in. It's uh, another corner. And there he is. You've got to be mindful of the fact that they've just conceded one from a, a set piece. Kelly's gone in again. York have opened the scoring against Gateshead. York won, Gateshead nil. York top of the table. They've only been playing in five minutes of that game. Ball swept in again to the near post. Parsley chest punched out and Harry is... Well, they still haven't cleared their lines, but they... Bombed forward by Corey Davidson and Storer will just head it back to his goalkeeper. And it's comfortable for the young keeper who plays it out wide to James Bright. Up to Moyo and NT. In a battle to try and take possession. And Harry as it is who concede the throw in. Chester have taken the lead against Hereford as well. Chester 1, Hereford 0. Up at the Diva Stadium. So local clubs not having the best of times at the moment. Hereford behind at Chester. Harriers behind at Kettering. Well, it's not great news, I'm afraid, for Harriers fans. I mean, uh, slowly but surely pulled themselves back into the game. Harriers were undone from the first set piece of the afternoon. Marcus Kelly's deep corner from the left-hand side was uh, found wanting at the far post. Sam Cartwright, the centre-back, needed no second invitation and firmly planted a header beyond Gregory into the back of the Harriers' net. Cuttering one, Kidder Mr. Harriers nil. 22 minutes in them. Kettering leading by that solitary goal. The referee taking the players to the far side to get a, a drinks break. Sensible in this heat. John Pemberton just trying to sort his uh, players out, giving a, a few pet talks, saying they've got to get back into this game. And no doubt Nicky Eden doing the same for the home team. Gregory it is who's stayed in his goal as has his opposite number so uh, a little break for the keepers who can just uh, <laughs> take on some water Stabridge have levelled against Bromsgrove Stabridge 1, Bromsgrove 1 Whilst the players took a, an opportunity to take on some fluid, so did the commentators. Still plenty to look at. The uh, official who's just had some water, Luke Martin, sorry, Louis Martin, has uh, then sprinted back over this side and now uh, probably not had any joy of it at all. Brackley 2, Gloucester City nil in uh, National League North. So building up play there, let's have a look at the, the score lines in the National League Boreham would have had a man off, they trail 2-0 at home to Emsfleet, Barrow lead Halifax by a goal to nil, Torquay lead 1-0 at Barnet, Dover are down to 10 at home to tabletop in Woking and stop Knox County trail Chorley by a goal to nil all those in the National League National League North so far Telford leading Leamington as the game uh, resumes and Butterfield flicks the ball on but it, Davison really didn't want to be jumping up against Stora there, ball in pushing the bat there by uh, Ante on Prosser and Harriers will have the free kick Chester lead Hereford by goal to nil Kettering lead Kidderminster by goal to nil and uh, York lead Gateshead by a goal to nil one out to Moyo on this right hand side well watched there by Prosser who flicks the ball into Pennicott. Pennicott holds off his man. Swept cross field but it's intercepted by Stora. Stora looking to flick that ball between the channel. Missed there by Johnson. It's MT. Three to his left as MT breaks in towards the area. Reese Williams stands his ground. And the youngster knocks it wide for a, a throw in on that far side of the field. Still 1 0.
Stora making his way up the touchline to take the throw in for the home side. Plenty of red and black striped shirts to, to aim for. Michael comes close, as does. And T. Harry is though. Stick a foot in and then it's got a flick the ball. Goalkeeper comes a long way to head up the ball from Chambers. And uh, the Kettering fans throwing the ball away from Chambers as he tried to race onto it there. It's played into Williams who breaks into the area and Harriers get the corner. Harriers first corner of the afternoon. And suddenly Harriers have a new lease of life and a, a bit of a quicker tempo. Williams it is with the corner ball played up high Reese Williams underneath it, good firm header down hooked away by the home defence only as far as Williams Williams up against Storer, Storer trying to show him the outside Butterfield has it as well played back into Prosser Prosser with a little flick ball in towards Paniquet on the edge of the area trying to find space, gets it out to Moyo Moyo with a low drive into the centre Hooked away, hooked up in the air, the goalkeeper's not convinced. And so, uh, no, click that away. And, uh, well, didn't look confident with that ball dropping. Did Paul White and, uh, sort of flapped at it a little bit. He was uh, aided and abetted by a Harriers player jumping into him as well. But, uh, Harry is that concede the free kick. White is unmoved. The yeah. goal kick. White will look to take. Twenty-seven minutes played as White's clearance comes to this near side. Moyo stands his ground. Good header forward. Pennicott drops it down inside, but Brighton swats the cover. Brighton stands his ground. Harry is still trying to press on, trying to win this ball back, but it's with Scars. Driven crossfield. Picked up by Michael. Good control. Turns. And then Michael out to Stora, right hand side. Stora, simple ball in. Michael again turns away from his man. Trickery, but uh, held up there by Williams. Milne out to Brighton. Now Kettering have a chance left hand side. Moore's trying to build again. Milne's again looking for the opening. Storr has come in field. Harry has uh, pulled in both ways. And it's Michael with the cross. And it's headed away by Butterfield. Harriers haven't cleared their lines yet. Ball drops down. Head to Brighton, left hand side. Austin stands. Moyo is there with the clearance up towards Panicket. Chested down into the path of uh, Chambers, who brings it down. Shields it well, but well, it's Kelly who slams the ball from inside the Harriers half back to his goalkeeper White, and White will launch it right footed from those blue boots as far as Johnson. That was, uh, well, that was uh, an elbow in the back of the head there. Quite right. Referee's going to call him across. Connor Kennedy led with the elbow into the uh, back of the head. The referee. Referee having a word, and I think uh, Kennedy's going to be spoken to for leading with the elbow. It's, it's, I think it's uh, Kennedy is going to get the yellow card. First booking of the afternoon goes in the uh, way of the Catherine man. Twenty-nine minutes in. Harriers will look to restart with a free kick, but it's uh, ball down. Curry Davidson receives treatment, goes off. Chester have doubled their advantage against Hereford, two goals to nil. It is up at the Diva Stadium. I think Kings Lynn. Waiting for confirmation. I think Kings, Kings Lynn have gone ahead at Farsley Celtic as well. 
So they've had a, a good, decent start. Harriers get the free kick away. Pennicut into the area. Headed down by Brighton. Cleared away by Kennedy. Mojo on Moyo on this near side, battling with NT. Moyo turns away from his man, comes away with the ball. Back to Reese Williams. Williams flicking the ball long. Panikhead with a little flick headed down towards Ashley Chambers. Oh, there's a bit of a mistake in the home defence. Austin picks up, low ball into the centre, and nobody could run in there to clear it in. Prosser with the header up into the Gloucester area again. Brighton, it's a bit panicky defensively from the home side as Kettering drop back towards their own six-yard box. Williams out to Austin. Austin back again, ball swept into the area, Chambers at the far post, but it's away, goal kick. And uh, Kettering regrouped there with Stora doing well at the far post to make sure that nothing had gone out of uh, turn. Just having a word with the two central defenders as they walk away. Got uh, opened up there and split. Both Cartwright and Scarts. Mindful of the threat that Chambers can pose. Starbridge lead Bromsgrove Sporting by two goals to one. As uh, Kettering come forward again, right hand side. Michael looking for the run of store, a good run. It's uh, come off the back end. Well, it's still that way, I'm afraid, yeah. Trev. Cartwright's goal after just um, 20. 17 minutes, sorry, was the, the opener. It was a, a cross, a, a corner rather from Kelly that was swept to the far post. Harriers didn't pick up. Cartwright timed his run well and uh, planted a firm header beyond uh, Gregory in the Harriers' goal. Harriers had a couple of half opportunities since then. Uh, the water break, I think, has helped them more than it has Kettering, to be fair. But uh, at the moment, Kettering's defence, which has been shaky in recent games, well, it's looked a little shaky, but somehow they've, uh, they've kept everything uh, in order at the moment. It's still ha Kettering 1, the kid against the Harriers nil. Oh, okay. Michael gets the throw in on the far side. Torquay 2 up at Barnet in National League. Throw in far side. Restorer with it, finds Danny Lenti, and it was a foul throw. Was it a push in the back? No, it's a, a push by the Kettering man. Handball it was rather from Lenti as he went to play that one. Ball swept up from uh, Johnson up towards Panicket. Good header down, but just wins with the header again, and it's Marcus Kelly. And T. Prosser gets it though, finds Moyo. Moyo finds Prosser on the halfway line. In towards Panicket, trying to hold, said hold, and they were trying to chest the ball down too quickly. It was the Harriers' target man. And still, the solitary goal. As White drives the ball forward. Johnson underneath it for Harriers. Prosser, beaten there by Milnes. The ball drops in the middle. Somebody's got to go and win it. Austin does, but uh, Milnes chases it down. Austin recovers. Good work from the young Harriers fullback who's fired the ball upfield. Watch down by Stars to Brighton. Kettering doing everything right at the moment. They lead by goal to nil here at Latimer Park. 34 minutes in. Still up under pressure, so a left footed volleyed ball up towards NT. Jumps and chases, Johnson, on, Williams is there, Harry is a little bit loose in possession defensively, oh. Moyo caught underneath it, Kelly gets back but Moyo is there, sprints back to a toe for that error, Moyo now over the halfway line, little ball into Panicket, finds Austin, in towards Chambers, trying to release uh, Williams and the referee says it's handball from the uh, Harriers man. Kings Lynn have doubled their advantage at Farsley Celtic. Farsley Celtic nil, Kings Lynn two. So 
White, the goalkeeper, looking to launch this ball forward. Right footed, just outside the area. Moyo trying to back on, but it was uh, Antiu watched it away. James Brighton it is with the throw in. This is the BBC Hereford Awards. We've got 10 minutes to the interval here. Kettering lead by one goal to nil. Long throw from Brighton into the area. Headed away by Reese Williams. Hennicott picks up the loose ball, but he can't keep that in play. It's a Kettering throw. Ball in again. Milnes it is on the ball, looking for space and movement. Flicked into Michael. Michael gets a return there from Storm. It slips as he tries to beat Butterfield. He gets up with the ball in his possession as well. Short into Brighton. Brighton controls. Checks. All chipped up towards NT on the edge of the area. NT turning. Blocked off though from Prosser, but allowed to go again. Still with NT with a shot. It's, uh, over the bar there from Gabriel NT. NT allowed to turn on the edge of the area. 36 minutes in. With the shot rising over the top of the bar. Former kid of Mr. Harrier's player. Been around with quite a few clubs actually for Worcester City and a few others. As Come on, Keres, get a second. Aye. Headed down there from Cliff Moyer. This is Brighton takes a quick. Sip of water, Rain Tree lead Dorking by a goal to nil in National League South. Still no goals at Alfreton and at Boston and at Curzon Ashton. As the ball's uh, headed down, Austin with the clearance up towards Chambers. Brings the ball down, turns 40 yards from goal, looks to his left hand side. Corey Davidson's there, but it's a poor ball. Oh, it's broken down, and Michael will chase. Chambers trying to get back at uh, Michael. The ball played through to NT, who turns, played the ball down. NT gets it down to this uh, near side. Ball drops in. Austin will just watch it and then clear it away from the onrushing Joel Carter. Brighton, it is with the throw in. Carter tries to turn. Fires a shot in. It bounces up into the midriff of Gregory. Gregory will look to clear forward right footed. Watch down by Cartwright, the goal scorer. Johnson there, ball bounces awkwardly. Moyo harps it on, so too does Prosser. Scars gets there first, and then Carter angles the ball out to Michael, right hand side. Michael sprints out. Up against Johnson. Johnson just standing his ground. Michael clips the ball towards the front post, and turn it away by Austin. And it's a corner this near side. Third corner to Catherine. Six to the break, five to the break now. Forty minutes played. There he is. Daniel NT. Cliff Moyer. Tournament ball to be taken this near side. Played again towards the far post. Looping header up and it's tipped oh. over by Gregory. Scars with the header. Yeah. Looped it over the top. Yeah. Kelly has gone the far side to take the corner. Five to the interval, 40 minutes played. Kelly again, lifting that ball high. 
drops down on it, volleyed away. Only as far as Michael, 25 years goal. Play to this left hand side. Corey Davidson chases oh, it. Oh, and Kerry will get the yellow card. Davidson get a yellow card. Milnes went over. So Davidson gets the yellow card. 41. So there he is, have some defending to do. As Kettering press forward near the closing exchanges of this first half. Ball down, left hand side, four or five yards outside the Harriers penalty area. Williams is the one man wall. Harriers are trying to defend it. Ball drilled into the near post, and it's uh, well, Harriers still trail by a goal to nil. We've got four minutes to the interval here, and another corner for Catherine, their fourth of this half. Looking dangerous from set pieces of the home side. That's how their goal came about on 17 minutes. Cartwright diving in at the far post to, to make contact with Kelly's deep corner, and it beat the goalkeeper. Harriers, though, looking to try and clear their lines, not successfully, as Michael stands on the edge of the area now, looking to try and play the ball back in again. Harriers, though, defending better. And uh, the ball played out. But Harry is trailing still by that goal. Not really created very much, it must be said. A couple of half chances. But I should imagine John Pemberton won't be overly impressed with the first half showing. Harry is then trailing four to go to the break. It's Kettering one. It could have been Harry is nil. Moya. Near side. Played infield. Right to the far side again, Corey Davidson. Chasing again. Cross up across the back line. Boston have taken the lead against Altrigan, we think. Boston won Altrigan nil. Three to the break here as Harry is still knocked the ball around, trying to get uh, Kettering moving about the field. Chambers is there, finds Crosser. Sweeps the ball into the path of Johnson over the halfway line. Harry is coming forward in their navy shirts set to Davidson. And again, there's a good build up play, is then broken with a firm foot by the Catherine midfield. Harry is still wow. looking to come forward through Prosser there. The ball runs across. The Harry is a little bit. Uh, a bit lax, I think, at the moment. They trail by a goal to nil, but they've got to find something from it. And Moyo had no option other than to go back to his goalkeeper. Lifted forward by Gregory. Pennicott will chase. The ball drops down between the two, and it's picked up by the goalkeeper who dives to the ground there. It's Scars. So he would have headed on back to his keeper. So three minutes gone. Kettering 1, Kinnemiss Harry is nil here on BBC Home in Austin, 104.6. And online, flick on from Nenti, it's gone too far, that'll be a Harriers goal kick. Leamington have equalised at Telford. Telford 1, Leamington 1, and Woking have equalised at Dover. So there we are, that brings you up to date on that one. Dover 1, Woking 1. Harriers still training by a goal to nil here at uh, Latimer Park. Difficult for both sides in this heat. They've uh, maintained a strong tempo. Moyo goes up. Pennicott brings the ball down. Finds Williams. Williams turns in field. Can he find an opening? Plays it across to Corey Davidson. Ball bounced up as it uh, came up, and uh, it's away for a goal kick. I don't think you can quite say that that was a, an effort at goal, but how he is. Not really created very much so far in this uh, first half at Kettering. Into the final minute of this uh, first half. And driven long. And T battling with Moyo. Ball drops down. Kelly going for and T again. Moyo standing his ground. 
throw in on this near side. Brighton will look to come across and take it and support there coming for him. From Connor Kennedy, but he's gone down the line to NT. NT going to flick the ball up and uh, chasing it out. Harry is eventually get the throw in. Takes a few uh, seconds out of the equation. Headed back in field. Harriers have left it. Moyo with the clearance, but it's cut out by Kennedy. Straight through to go. Oh, well, the bounce nearly took it over. Cameron Gregory there. So Cameron Gregory alert there as uh, Kennedy's ball looked to go over the top of him. Good header on there from Pennicott. Stora brings it down, flicks it long over the halfway line. I think Kettering are going to be just happy to see this out to half time with a solitary goal advantage. Balance of play, they deserve that. Harry is slow out the blocks, but undone by that Kelly corner. Clears from Gregory upfield, Pennicott chases on. Header on there by Davidson, hooked away by. Kennedy. Johnson can't keep that one alive. And we're into the final minute of the half, the added time. This may well be it, actually, a throw in, and nobody really on any hurry to take it. Kettering leading by a goal to nil, then, here. Throw in far side, Storer to take. Storer's being told to go back. By the referee, just adding a few seconds. And then goes to take it from where the referee says, don't go in any case. But Michael it is, trying to find a way through the Harriers' back line. Good defending there, and long ball forward. It will be away for a Harriers' goal kick. And I think that will realistically be it. Half-time, Alfreton nil, Southport nil. In uh, National League North. Gregory about to take it, I think the referee... Matt call it and probably call an end to this as soon as it's kicked. He does indeed. Half time arrives then here at Latimer Park. Kettering have a, a little advantage. They lead by a goal to nil.
to Latimer Park, still in uh, glorious sunshine, still a very good atmosphere, so a good uh, following for Harriers as well by the Harriers fans, uh, getting behind their team, Harriers in their navy shirts, white shorts, navy socks, will be defending the goal away to our right in this second period, they will make the change at half-time, Harry Higginson coming on to replace Alex Prosser, so Higginson a defender, Prosser for a midfield, so Harriers will go flat back four, with Austin moving in at right back, and uh, or possibly uh, moving Moyo rather to, to right back and Austin will just play away from there so Harriers with Higginson waiting to come on against a catcher inside who haven't uh, I don't think at the moment have made any changes at all to their starting 11 bit of stretching for Linda Michael on this near side now in his uh, red shirt just trying to stretch those thighs and the hamstrings just to make sure that they keep going Referee and his officials, they've done all their checks on the uh, the goal. Harriers need to create something. Joel Carter standing over the ball. So, ball down, referee just checking. Higginson's on. He's going to throw water over this near side. Young centre back. Moyo moving into midfield then. Austin at right back now. Higginson left back. Johnson and Williams in the heart of the defence. Butterfield joined by Moyo in the holding roles of midfield as the ball's hit long. Header away by Reese Williams. Pennicott trying to release his marker but the uh, ball's still down Panicat right catching Ben Mills ball down there Panicat taking a breather as well both the players involved in that the referee Happy that uh, purely accidental. Catherine fans behind the goal away to our right side to make a fair amount of noise. Free kick for Catherine. Scarted is up this near side. Michael with the header infield. Butterfield doing well to hold off the challenge. Cameron Gregory side footing the ball upfield. Headed out to this near side. Still have beaten to it, but uh, on, Davidson Kevin. couldn't quite keep the ball alive as he won that header. On your back. Good, uh, challenge there by Milan Butterfield. Two number eights coming together there. Ben Milnes for the home side and Harriers again having to face a, a throw in it's attacking throw for Kettering Milnes has uh, time and space trying to flick the ball wide to that far side finds Kelly Kelly for the first time doesn't take it under his control straight away goes around Austin puts the block in it's a corner ball Kettering's fifth corner of the game gone across to the far side to take it for the home side ball in towards the near post it's headed down by Reese Williams Michael beats Williams to the second time and Gregory just gets ahead of MT and then launches the ball long towards Chambers right hand side well watch there was by Brighton who headed the ball away there under pressure there he is trying to get in again down the centre Mill beaten to it this time by Moyo Austin couldn't get there it's a Harriers throw in Williams it is 
Long throw in down the line. Delicate stoops to try and head the ball on. Scars with the clearance. Austin. And again, not convincing, and Harry is just flicking the ball down to that far side. Chambers chases, but uh, Scars clears. Butterfield with the header down into Pennicott. Pennicott takes it into the area, fires the ball across, gets a corner. Harry's first corner of this second period. And we're into the 50th minute. Williams goes across to the far side to take it. Holds his right arm aloft. Can he find a delivery? Scoops the ball near post. Headed down by Johnson and it's headed away at the near post by Brighton. And uh, Harry is not able to find a finishing touch there. Ball out to this near side. They're trying to chase it down. Good work. The referee says it's okay. Chambers tries to turn in the area. Williams Higginson flicks the ball infield towards Paniquet just over his head. And the goalkeeper eventually comes to collect. And Paul White slowing things down. Halifax have equalised at Barrow. Barrow level there. Stockport lead Chesterfield by a goal to nil as the ball's played long again. And Harry is defending, defending again as Kenny tried to release it now. Harry has potentially have a break. Panicket taking it away from his man. Tries to go inside two. It's blocked off there by the covering defender but it's away. It's a corner ball to Harriers. Harriers two forcing two corners. Quick succession. Not scared. have come from behind. They lead Shawnee by two goals to one. Hartlepool lead Wrexham by two goals to one. And Boston have gone 2 0 up against Altrincham. And they still have 11 men on the field. Dorkin, after being behind at Braintree, are ahead by two goals to one in National League set. Harriers have a corner here. 52 minutes played as Williams looks to deliver this towards the centre of the area. It drops in there. It's headed down by Reese Williams. Cleared only as far as Davidson, who angles the ball back into the centre. Linda Michael trying to get there ahead of Butterfield. Butterfield wins the ball back and is then held back by MT. Harriers have a free kick. And the referee slows everything down. Better start at the start of the second half from the visitors, who are battling away trying to get back into this game trailing to that 17th minute Sam Cartwright goal Williams it is he's trying to send people further wide of that penalty spot which he's aiming for now keepers come a long way to collect and he's caught his own man in doing so Joe Scott's caught on the back of the head there by the goalkeeper Paul White as he came to claim that free kick from Williams almost on the edge of his own penalty area. I think the deadlock's been broken at Alfreton. Alfreton leads Southport by a goal to nil. Players are getting a, a few drinks. Higginson comes to this near side to get his, uh, his bottle. Lyndon Michael does the same. Corey Davidson also fires across to share some fluid. Bit of a break just six or seven minutes into this second half here as Kettering lead Kidderminster by a goal to nil. Harry Higginson, giving the uh, Louis Martin a touch of water, giving a bit of stick for it as well from uh, the Kettering fans on this near side. <laughs> the referee is going to drop the ball down and White can collect. 
White is with the with the ball down there. Fires it right footed deep into Harrier's territory. Johnson's underneath it. Beaten in the air by Carter. Drops down to MT. And T looks to this right hand side. Michael is there. Little chip ball. No, he plays it. And T on the run. And T back to Michael again. Chips the ball towards Harrier's goal. And it's taken by Gregory, who watched it well. And took it underneath his own crossbar. And then drives the ball right footed towards Chambers. Harrier's winning back through Butterfield. No offside as Chambers chases it down. Pennicott's in the area. Pennicott's to the near post, but he's. Uh, He's almost got underneath it there and directed it wide as Harriers try to bear down on the Kettering goal. Pennicott's header over. Ten minutes into the second half. Still Kettering one. Peter Minster Harry is nil here on BBC Hereford and Worcester Live. Commentary here from Latimer Park up in Chester. Hereford are being turned over unmercilessly, I think. Chester 3, Hereford 0 there. As uh, Harriers again defend. Battling the ball on. Down towards Butterfield. Out to Austin. Down behind the defender, Brighton, who's having to chase this one back because uh, Williams is closing down on him. And uh, Williams uh, concedes the free kick as he went behind to keep that alive. Half time at York. York 1 against Head 1 is a half time score. Darlington 0, Bradford Park Avenue 0. Half time and Blythe are trailing at home to Geisley by a goal to nil. Blythe picked up their first point of the season and the weekend with the nil nil draw against Bradford Park Avenue. Free kick here though to Catherine. Deep down by the corner flag. Paul White to take. Long clearance forward. That was a push in the back. The referee says play on though. Carter it was who left his arm there, but the referee said play on. Kelly takes over down the left hand side up against Austin. Austin trying to hold him out on that far side and uh, concedes the corner. <laughs> Kelly walks away from it. Ben Milnes this, holds his right arm aloft, lifts the ball in towards the near post. Flick and it's like a goal! And it scores with the strike! The captain of Kettering hammers the ball in near post, outside of the right foot of Volley, and Harry trail by two goals to nil, and that was a finish. And scars the captain. The two centre backs have got the goals from set pieces. Joe Scars getting in to beat the Harriers' defence. Flicked with the outside of his right boot. And on, Harriers Kevin, are trailing again. Yeah, well, as you can hear probably from around me, Trev, Kinnaminster now two goals uh, down as uh, a ball swept in by the far side from Ben Milnes from the corner. Joe Scars timed his run to the near post into perfection to, uh, to put a, the outside of a right foot volley into the roof of the Harriers net. No chance for Cameron Gregory. Catering now two goals to good. We've played 58 minutes and Harriers have got more than the work to do now. Harriers trying to get back into a flick on there. It's helped on again. Ed Williams on the edge of the area. Flicks it in. Chance for Corey Davidson. Tries to play it back into the centre. It's cleared away. Harriers looking to try and get on it again, but it's gone out of play. It's a goal kick on the far side. Hartley ball three. Nine hundred eleven. Nine hundred eleven. That's come from Kidderminster as well as the 
Flick header on by MT. Cleared by Williams up towards Paniquet. Headed down, only to this near side. Corey Davidson nearly gets the challenge. Michael. Closed down there by Higginson. Ball played up the line. Butterfield with a header on towards Chambers. Corey Davidson helping it on. Flicked on by Moyo. Ball not coming down and Harry is struggling with it. And it's James Brighton, left flank, trying to flick a ball through. Harry has defended though. Austin up to Williams. Williams takes it on. Away from the Kettering back line. Reese Williams. Austin down the line trying to get Pelican away, but the ball returned by a red shirt. Moyo slips. And Carter can swing it out to this right hand side and store her back in towards Kennedy. Out to the far side to Kelly. Kettering with that two goal cushion. Knocking the ball about with a little bit more ease now. Harriers have got to make it pay as they play the ball down the line. Panicat will chase. The ball will go away for a throw in to the home side. Still Kettering two. Give him the Harriers nil. A little bit of water taken on board there. Ball down the line. Push from the in defence and the ball swept wide right to right hand side. Him. Michael oh, through. It's easy. Linda Michael. Infield. Goes for the return. Michael down by the touchline now. Clips the ball in, gets a corner to come off. Higginson. Catherine Bands once more celebrating a corner. <laughs> Michael going for the short corner, is he? No, he's stepping back now as the ball's placed down on this near side. Late run into the area this by Gary Storer. It hasn't been noticed. Butterfield sets it up now. Milne it is with the corner. Under pressure is the goalkeeper. I don't think he knew much about that, but there's a few bodies around him. Ed Williams' clearance wins a throw in. The Harriers have got nothing really for him to bowl to. Harriers have a throw in over the head of Pennicott. The ball bouncing up again there. Bright it is with a ball into the area. Johnson with the headed clearance. And T, chesting the ball out to the far side. Kelly has it again. Austin stands his ground. Feeds it back to Reese Williams. Moyo it is. Knocking it long. Chambers will chase. Will be knocked away by score of the first goal. Sam Cartwright. Listen to BBC Hereford and Worcester. Live commentary 104, 104.6 FM and online on the BBC website. Kettering two, Kidderminster Harry is nil as the ball's played into the Kettering area, headed away by Storer. Harry is second best to every ball at the moment. Kettering having just to knock it around and see with the ball in. Carter was uh, well that was uh, blocked there from Higginson with NT. Uh, Carter it was who was impeded as he went to race through. Hartley pulled four, Wrexham two. Parsley have got to go back. So striker coming on then, Jaden Wise. Harriers making that change. Young yeah, under 23 striker. Harriers with all under 23s on the bench. But uh, Jaden White is on. Ball hit cross field. Michael did well to keep that in play, actually. Carter holding up 
the challenge of Johnson. Michael Infield, Stora, plays the ball in, and his shot is blocked. And Reese Williams had to clear, but Harry is well, totally and utterly undone here by Catherine Kelly. Played through the middle, but that's going straight out of play for a Harriers goal kick. Halifax lead 2 1 at Barrow. I don't think we've had any more. Well, Farsley have uh, pulled a goal back against Kings Lynn. 2 1 they trail there up in Yorkshire at the moment. York won Gateshead 1 at half time. That will be out for the second half. <laughs> Flick on from Pennicut. All the balls ricocheted up off uh, Ed Williams, but again. Harriers can't make it pay. Paul White it is in the home goal. Very little to do today. Drives the ball long. Austin's underneath it. And T is uh, there with him as well. Flick from Williams. Pennicut. Good control there. Shoulder to head. And then trying to release Williams down that right hand side. Clearance met by Austin, headed down to Panicat again. Austin takes over, right hand side. Kelly in front of him. Good cross into the near post, and it's a goal! Back for Harry as Ashley Chambers, fifth of the season. Getting a goal back, 66 minutes in. Harry is back into this game. Austin's cross. And Chambers gets his fifth of the campaign. And Harriers back in this game. Plenty of work for Kettering to do now. Kettering uh, seemingly in control. But Harriers have got that goal back now, and that may just put a little bit more pressure. Harriers back into it again, trying to win the ball, but it's flicked over the far side. Carter can't get it. Kettering. Two, Kidderminster Harriers one. Austin's cross and Chambers with the finish. The near post. Pennicut flicking it into Williams. Williams got a chance to run at the defence again. Can he find a delivery? Or support. Support comes from Austin. Austin has to take the ball down. Clipping it into the area again. Pennicut with the header down. And all of a sudden there's panic in the Kettering defence before it's hooked clear. And Harriers, well, they could well be just uh, getting back on top of this. They trail by two goals to one. Ball in, flick from Chambers. Chased down by Williams, who can't quite battle the ball back with Scar. The referee having a quick word. Knox County four, Chorley one. Chorley's. A bit of fun. Referee just trying to stop the two of them there. As, uh, Scars and uh, Ed Williams. A little bit of a coming together. Handbags at 10 bases. But the net result, goal kick to the home side that Paul White fires into the Harriers' territory. Kelly beating it down. Well, Harry is back in the 66 minutes played when their leading scorer, Ashley Chambers, uh, rose beautifully to divert a, a, a Sam Austin cross from the right beyond goalkeeper Paul White. It's put a little bit more pressure on Kettering, who seem to be easing their way to victory. Harry is back in this game now, 66 minutes gone. It is uh, Kettering 2, Kidderminster to Harry has won. And a change to be made for the home side. I think, yes. We're waiting to see what, uh, who's coming off where, when and why. No board, and now they've finally got the board ready. So Kelly off. <laughs> 67 minutes then. 67, Hodge on for Kelly. Boston now three up against Altrium. Boston 3, Altrium 0. Leamington 
who were behind up to a second minute Telford goal now lead at the New Bucks head by two goals to one Wolverton leads Southport by two goals to nil here at the Latimer Stadium or Latimer Park Kettering two Harriers one, Harriers given a bit of a lifeline by Chambers as the ball's bowled into the air flicked on by Pennicott volleyed clear up over the halfway line Rich Williams watches ahead to, to the far side. He's going to have to sprint to keep that one. Not able to keep that in. And it's a throw in for the home side. James Brighton looking to take it. The player's looking a little weary now. Not surprised in this heat. The referee will probably stop playing a minute. They'll have a, a drinks break. Ball swept on out to this near side. It's picked up there by the substitute. Hodge goes beyond. Uh, he gets the ball into the centre. Johnson's clearance, not a good one. Moyo is there to help it on its way as the cushioned header comes down to Storer on this near side. Hodge beaten though this time by Higginson and a good ball from Jaden Whites to Panicket. Panicket racing down his left hand side. Higginson gets there ahead of his marker, finds it, Williams, Williams into the box, takes a deflection, oh! I think it's come off the outside of the post as well. The deflection there, coming off Scott, and Harriers very nearly getting it red. It's Harriers have got an equaliser, Cliff Moyo from Ed Williams' corner. Gloucester were still arguing with themselves and Harriers are back in it. Corner quickly taken and Moyo was there to head home after Williams had seen his effort deflected onto a post. And Harriers, after being 2-0 down, are now back in this at 2-2 with two goals in the space of five minutes. 19 minutes remain. And it's all square here. And Harriers are back in it. A real firm header there from Mayo from Williams's corner. And Harriers will take it on again. Well, it's all level. Harriers with a great fight back. Two goals in five minutes now. Ashley Chambers getting Harriers back into the game. 2 1 on 66. Firm header from Austin's cross. Harriers broke forward. Williams seen his shot deflected onto the crossbar off the foot of uh, Joe Scars. He raced up to this near side and then flipped the ball in from the corner. And uh, Cliff Moyer was there to power the header back into the Kettering goal. Harriers back on it then. Kettering 2. Kidder Mr. Harriers 2. He's still trying to push on again. Hodge gets the ball into the centre and T links up with Hodge again. Hodge looks to the far side. Brighton's there. Comes forward into the area. Fires a shot. It takes a deflection. Reese Williams clearance. Not a good one. Brighton again. Looking to deliver. It's deeper this time. It's a header. It's a goal. It's a header from Colin Kennedy. And Harriers have let it slip almost immediately. Brighton's cross and Kennedy rose above his marker to direct his header back inside and across the keeper. 3 2 it is, and Kettering back in front on 73 minutes. Oh. What a topsy turvy game this is now. Kettering ahead. 3 2 the scoreline. Brackley are three up against Gloucester City. Spennymore lead 1-0 at Curzon Ashton. Harriers will have to go again. Williams it is on the ball. On the halfway line. Kettering. Getting ahead again, 3-2. This time it was Kennedy who got the header in. Harriers failing to clear, but there they're looking to bear down on the Kettering goal. Cliff Moyo, Higginson down the line to Jaden White. White gets pushed in the back, wins the free kick from Storer. And 
Harriers lining players up on the edge of the area now. Kettering will be going to be asked questions again as Harriers come forward. Kettering three, Kinnamins to Harriers two. Williams with the ball into the area again. Goggins come a long way. He's missed it. And it's a goal. And Richard Pennicat gets his first for the club. Pennicat with a firm header. And Harriers are back on level terms. You can't believe this, the way it's going. Williams with the free kick. And Pennicat rises above the goalkeeper who's raced 15 yards off his line and planted a header into an unguarded net. 3-3, 16 minutes to go. Goal blitz here as uh, Catherine are about to make changes. I think Milne is coming off. Seventy-five for Richards coming on then. Three-three here then on BBC Hereford and Worcester. Kettering in three. Kidderman to Harriers three. Harriers have the fight back. Then they fell behind again. Then they fall back within basically a minute of going behind. They're back on level terms. And Kettering uh, to start it again. Well, we were talking about the fight back there. Harriers had been two goals down and fought it back to 2 2. Well, Kettering went upfield and uh, netted to make it 3 2. Connor Kennedy with a header from Brighton centre and right back across the goalkeeper. Poor defending from Harriers created the opportunity. Within 60 seconds, Harriers were level. Ball out. There was a foul on Jaden White by the fullback Storer. Williams lifted the ball into the penalty area. Goalkeeper Paul White must have come 15 yards off his line. He was never, ever going to get there. And Richard Pennicott netted his first for the club. Free header into an unguarded net. We've got 15 minutes remaining. It is Kettering 3, Kinnamins and Harriers 3. As Harriers look to build again. Storup on this near side for Kettering. Ball down. Driven long, but it's uh, chested down by Reese Williams. Geisley now two goals to the good against Blythe. Don't forget that game's a fair way behind uh, this one. They didn't kick off until 3.15. Ball upfield, Pennicott not going to get there. Headed away this time by the central defence. Chested down in the middle, parked away. And T beaten to it this time, but uh, Harry is going to have to get back. And the ball's through, and Hodge has got a chance. Racing on, fires across the keeper. Kicked away with the right boot. And Hodge trying to put the ball across the goalkeeper. And Gregory stuck out a right boot. Still 3-3 then here. Harriers will get the goal kick. Butterfield doing his work well. Many more lead 1 0 at Curzon Ash and Notts County are now 5 1 up against Chorley. Bradford Park Avenue have taken the lead, we think, at Darlington. Side near the bottom of the table. They drew 0 0 with Blythe Spartans on side, looking for their first win of the campaign. As the ball's flicked down this time, a chase on for Chambers, but Storer's there to clear it out to this near side. You get a feeling this scoring hasn't finished yet. 12 minutes to, to go. Kettering three, Kinnamins to Harriers three. Fight back from the visitors who found themselves 2 0 down and 3 2 down. As Higginson has the ball left hand side, clips it into the area, too close to the keeper who collects this time. Commanding inside his penalty box. Harriers coming into this game. Oh, that was a hooked clearance from the keeper. Picked up by Moyo. Williams is making the run, but uh, Moyo's pass down the line is much too hard, and it's going to be a throw in to Kettering. Defensive throw that James Brighton sort of ambles back. Not surprised he's done a lot of running today as the left back. Probably just uh, starting to feel it a little bit now as the, the heat here at uh, Latimer Park. Takes it toll, probably not just on him, but on the, the players, the outfield players there. 
Long throw, flick on by Danny Lenti. Austin battles, Moyo battling with Lenti, and then it's Williams who hops it forward. Pennequet brings it down on his right thigh, out towards Williams. Williams tried to flick it through the middle, but Cartwright's there, finds it charged down. Goalkeeper comes out, still with Chambers. Well, free kick awarded, offside against Chambers. Still there. It's a goal kick or free kick. Paul White. Chester have just had a goal disallowed. So they still lead Hereford by three goals to nil as the ball drops down between Carter out to the far side. Michael looking to try and get the run on uh, Austin, but the ball ricocheting up and away for a throw. Ball down the line. No, it isn't. It's infield. Kennedy. He must have thought he put his side ahead and into the three points as Brighton looks to try and turn his man. Sam Watson, uh, Sam Watson standing his ground. And Williams thinking the fact that it was a Harrier's throw. Retrieves the ball for Michael. The Harriers still battling on there. Ball's opened up. Long range, but he's. Um, Scuffed it wide. Chesson Aston have equalised against Spennymore. 1 1 there. There he is. Pushing on. Goalkeeper Cameron Gregory has the ball at his feet. Into the final 10 minutes. Kettering 3. Kidderminster Harry is 3. There's a water break now for the players, referee sensibly taking them to the far side and whilst we do that commentators will have a quick swing of what's left of the bottle of water that he's got in his possession as well so there we are refreshed well we were saying that Chester had had a goal this well they haven't now I think they've gone 4-0 up Chester 4, Hereford 0 Big scores in the National League North. Brackley leading Gloucester by three goals to nil. Still 12 minutes to go there. 14 left on the clock as Boston lead Altrincham by three goals to nil. Overton be leading Southport 2 0. Guiseley 2 0 up at uh, Blythe. Levington leading Telford 2 1. As our Kingsland leading Farley. Farsley rather by two goals to one. Here though, at Lanham Park. An entertaining game, six goals, eight minutes remaining. Kettering three, Kidderminster Harriers three. And the referee just going to remove a water bottle that was on this near side of the field. Yes, yeah, so we've got eight minutes remaining here, Trevor. It's still 3 3. Harriers haven't led in this game at all, but they, they're coming strong at the end, and it just may well be that they might have timed it well. They were two goals down and looked totally out of it before Chambers uh, pulled a goal back for Harriers. Almost uh, immediately, well, within five minutes, Harriers have made it 2 2. Uh, Mayo, uh, Moyo getting the firm header to, to Williams's corner, and then Kettering uh, uh, went the other end of the field. Made it 3-2 as Brighton's cross was converted by Connor Kennedy on 73 minutes. Then within 60 seconds, Harry is back on level terms again. Williams free kick. Pennicket with his first for the club. A, a header as the goalkeeper came herring out of his goal. Why he did that, I don't know. Um, I'm sure these managers will be asking the same question. 3-3 at the moment. Seven to go. And it's, uh, well, it, it's a, it can go either way. I'm not exactly certain that the score is finished in this one. Kettering three. Kidderminster and Harry is three. Certainly the home side getting plenty of support. Get a four. Come on. Looking to try and defend this free kick. So Nimbley on them for NT. Eighty-four for nine. 
it's not a cricket score, it's Daniel and being taken off by his manager Nicky Eden to be replaced by Alex Nimley. Harry is defending as Nimley comes on. Eager to put his pace on, so four up front now almost for uh, Kettering. They're going to go for it in these final five minutes or so. Long ball down the line this time by White. Carter beaten in the air by Johnson. Referee said no foul. Way down to the far side. Brighton again. Down the line, Michael goes. Williams trucks him. Michael looking to come in field. Williams stands his ground. And Williams comes away with the ball. Hits it long upfield to the halfway line. Down. Oh, it's only just picked off there. But it's one back by Moyo, is it? Harry is looking as though they could win it back through Butterfield. Controls it. Little ball back into the centre. Moyo it is. Turns on the halfway line. Gets fouled from behind there with the challenge by Richards. Guys, the NF 3 0 up at Blythe. So they're going for another three points. And Reese Williams will take the free kick for Kidderminster Harriers. You listen to BBC Hereford and Worcester 104, 104.6 FM and online. Live commentary here at uh, Latimer Park as Hag Higginson goes to close down Hodge. And that was a nudge and a free kick. Five to go. Harriers will defend another free kick. It's going to be a long drive from White. Goalkeeper, fair way out of his uh, area. Come on, Carries, get fourth, come on! Ball hit long, Johnson eyeing it, firm header back towards the halfway line. Ball came off the uh, Kettering fullback last, Norris trying to keep it in, and it's a Harriers throw it. Four to go. Still plenty to play for here as Harry is in their navy shirts, white shorts, navy socks. Attack the goal away to our left-hand side. The Oval have dragged themselves level with Dagenham and Redbridge. Higginson tries to flick that ball through the middle there and then challenges the goal. Stands his ground and that will be a, a booking. Two in quick succession. The Elgin Brewery Man of Match for Kettering Town is player number four, Connor Kennedy. Now, Man of Match goes to Connor Kennedy. Feels polite applause rather than a fully blooded, yes, we all agree with the sponsor. I don't think that was uh, quite the case. Three to go. Three, three here. And it's White who's looking to deliver that ball in towards the edge of the Harriers area. Johnson's underneath it. Well, and he got it well there to head the ball down. Williams picks the ball up right-hand side. Takes a deflection on its way forward. Brighton is there. Oh, dear. Got underneath it. It's Kennedy's header away to the far side. Austin with a little touch in for Williams. On again. Pennicott chesting it down. Can he take it beyond his man? No, he can't, but he'll win the throw in. Blythe may have got themselves a consolation goal with 20 to go they trail 3-1 and Harriers get the ball into the area again Jaden White made a run across the defender Butterfield is taken to the it is a goal Milan Butterfield will claim it with a strike from outside the area but it took a deflection off the captain Joe Scott and Harriers well he went to drive it and Harry has somehow have, uh, gone ahead with two minutes remaining. Milan Butterfield with the drive. Low it was. It took a deflection. The goalkeeper was already diving. And Harry has have taken the lead for the first time in the game. And Milan Butterfield will draw from that. Long range drive deflected. And Harry has lead Kettering by. Four goals to three. And that completes a remarkable turnaround. I've been 2-0 down and 3-2 down. Harriers have battled back to lead here at Latimer Park. I'm not saying it's complete, but uh, Harriers now have two minutes to hold on. And I suppose it all changes now as the ball drops to Brighton far side. 
substitute plays it down. Scars taking it forward. Ball in, good run there from play through the middle. Gregory is going to collect and go to ground. Michael Richards was chasing that one down, but Harry is with the Harriers fans behind the goal away to our left. For the first time in the game, Kidder Mr. Harriers lead. A goal from Milan Butterfield on 88 minutes. Ball into the area, partially cleared by the Kettering defence. It fell to Butterfield. His drive was going on target. Keeper was diving to his right, but then it took a wicked deflection off uh, Sam Cartwright into the bottom left-hand corner of the goal. And Harriers lead for the first time. I've been 2-0 down and 3-2 down with just two minutes to go. It is Kettering 3, Kidder Mr. Harriers 4. Here on 104, 104.6 FM and online. We're now 90 minutes up, according to the time here. Harriers lead. Balls hit long again. Header away by Reese Williams. And again, this time by Butterfield, but it was misdirected. Ball drops over the top. Austin's going to have to chase and then hook it over his left shoulder. Back over the halfway line. Paddockett. Can't get a flick on this time. Jaden White's looking to chase it down. Ball drops down. Butterfield is there. Free kick given against Jaden White. Kettering will look to deliver this ball. We'll play it out to this left-hand side. Harry is left. Ball played through. Come on, Five minutes on in time then. Ball's played long. And it'll be a throw in to Kettering. Just a reminder to make no good man of match spot. They've chosen tonight by Dave Singer Friends. The match sponsors was Connor Kennedy, number four. So five minutes of added time here. All thrown down the line. Butterfield with the header back down there. Stora with the clearance. Johnson will watch it down. Good firm header there. Gets it down to Jaden White who Battles away, keeps it alive. Higginson lifting the ball through the centre. Chambers will chase. And Chambers might get in. Lifts it over the keeper. And that's the winning goal, definitely. Five goals to three. Ashley Chambers, that's the winner. Without a doubt, Harry is going to take the three points now. That's a goal for Ashley Chambers. As he lifted the ball over the keeper. Indecision at the back line. Poor back pass. And Chambers was there to get the goal and to score what potentially would be, well, it is the winning goal without a doubt. Gloucester, uh, Chester, Chester, Gloucester, how should we go with Kettering? I'm going to get back into that now. Five goals to three, Harriers lead with that goal in time added on. And uh, uh, two goals for Chambers. And Harriers have made the difference. They've taken the advantage of the efforts that have come their way. And they're going to make a third and final substitution. Uh, Williams off. And, uh, well, it's a goal that Harriers have deserved. 12, Fremantle on. For Williams and Kettering are coming forward. Ball down to the far side. Brighton and again. Harriers have taken this and taken the game well. Having been behind, played forward there by Butterfield. Kettering are, are looking to try and come back into this. Can they find a way? Can they get a goal back? Which would set up a, a really tense last few minutes. Uh, Ryan Johnson just slammed that ball into the uh, stand, the camera stand on the far side. Kettering three, came into Harriers five here. Woking, I think, have scored a last minute winner at Dover as well in the National League. Harriers are going to make this back. Ball down, battling on again, played through the centre. Good work there. Reese Williams with the clearance, Panicket chasing it down. Ball out to this near side. 
Well, a brace for Ashley Chambers. Olferton have beaten Southport by two goals to nil. Cliff Moyo getting one of the goals. Richard Pennicket is first for the club. Milan Butterfield doesn't get very many. Yes, well, we've had uh, another one now. Kettering three, Kidamis Arias five. Two minutes into time added on at the end of the game. Ball was uh, swept across field. Mistake by defender Sam Cartwright, who's, uh, you know, sort of the, the four minutes from there where he took a deflection to turn Butterfield's effort past his own goalkeeper to give Harry's the lead for the first time. Woeful back pass. He left Paul White in no man's land. Ashley Chambers nicked in, knocked it over the keeper, and the ball bounced into an unguarded net. 5-3 it is as uh, we go into what is the last minute of the added time. So Harry is having uh, twice been behind, 2-0 behind, 3-2 behind. They've staged a remarkable fight back uh, in this game. Ashley Chambers with a brace. One from Cliff Moyer, one from Richard Pennicott, and one from Milan Butterfield. Harry is at the stage, are looking for three points, and a third consecutive victory away from home. Kettering Town three, Kidamis the Harriers five. Ball down at the moment with Gregory in goal. Harriers pushing forwards. I'm sure this will delight Kettering fans still further. AFC rushed to the Diamonds 1 0 up. A late, late goal in that game against St Ives. There's a long ball downfield. The Harriers fans behind the goal, away to our left. The final whistle goes. And Kidderminster the Harriers have made it three wins away from home on the, on the reel.